Glory be to Jesus Christ, you guys. Hi. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon to you, brothers and sisters all over the world. All for the glory of our Lord and Savior. His name is Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. His name is Yeshua HaMashiach, however, in the Hebrew. So, guys, good morning, good evening, good afternoon to you, brothers and sisters all over the world at this time. Um, I'm very, very grateful to be coming back to you guys with this part um, two in this series called The Obama Nation. So, you guys coming back on here to finish up this series, and let's just go ahead and jump right on into it. But before we do, as always, you guys... You know, we give the Yeshua HaMashiach his glory at all times on this channel and in this entire ministry. So glory be to Yeshua HaMashiach forevermore. Let's just go ahead and go right on into it at this time and give the Lord his glory that he so rightfully deserves. So Heavenly Father, in your mighty precious name, we cry out, Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach of all creation. Father, I want to thank you so very much for allowing me to come before your glorious throne along with the brothers and sisters at this time on this message and finishing up this series, Father, that you commanded me to put out right now called The Abomination. Yeshua, I pray to you right now, Father, as me being one of your daughters and one of your children in your kingdom, along with the brothers and sisters that are tuning into this message, I pray, Yeshua HaMashiach, that your precious Holy Spirit will just take over this message. Yeshua, I pray that you'll continue to have your way and only your way being fulfilled in my life and in all of the listeners' lives as well. Yeshua, just take over, precious Holy Spirit of the only true living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That is you and you alone, Yeshua. Take over this message in the remainder of this series called Abomination. Take over, Yeshua. Glory be to your name, Father. May your truth and only your truth prevail here, Yeshua, which it shall and which it will. Father, I want to thank you once again. May the listeners touched by you, Yeshua. May they have ears to hear and eyes to see. And may you keep us all safe on this message, Lord. Father, I thank you once again. It is already done, Yeshua. Have your way. And that's all the more I can say, Yeshua, is thank you. I love you. And we all, as your call, as your listeners, Lord, we love you. And all of us that are called according to your purpose, Yeshua, we love you. We thank you, Father, for giving us ears to hear and eyes to see. And Yeshua, I just pray that you continue to have your way. Glory be to your name, Father. Thank you so very much. And Yeshua, we all come together and we all touch an agreement on this message, all for your glory at this time. We thank you, Lord, and we all say together, Yeshua, as your body, that we love you. Thank you, Yeshua. And to you and you alone, in your mighty, precious name, we cry out, Lord, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Father, we thank you. We love you. And to you and you alone, Yeshua, we say amen and amen and amen to you, Lord. So thank you, Father. Um, guys, once again, good morning, <laughs> good evening, good afternoon. Um, guys, we're going to just go ahead and pick back up where we left off. So if you guys don't know about what's going on with this series, I would highly recommend that you go back to the intro. Please go all the way back to the beginning, which there is an intro. Then there is a part one. Then this part now that, we're about, that I'm about to finish up for you. So... Um, you guys, I'm going to just go ahead and jump right on into it. Guys, please bear with me. Excuse me. You guys, um, if you hear my throat, it's just a tad bit raspy. Um, I just woke up not too long ago. So Yeshua HaMashiach is strengthening me right now. So, but let's go ahead and get right on into it. Let's go to the book of Daniel, as you can see in front of you. Please, if you have your Bibles, please do go to the book of Daniel chapter 7. Let's go there right quick. Because you guys, in this part, it is very important as well in this series of the abomination. We're finishing it up, you guys. So let's go to Daniel chapter 7. And we're going to start at verse 21. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and start. It says, I beheld and the same horn made war with the saints. And prevailed against them. I'm going to read it all the way through like I did in part one. And then we're going to break it down, okay? Because this is very important in this part in particular. 
So let's finish up once again. Daniel chapter 7, verses 21 to 28. I'll read it again. This is verse 21 again. I beheld, and the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them. Until the ancient of days came, and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High, and the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Thus he said, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. And the ten horns out of this kingdom are ten kings that shall rise. And another shall rise after them. And he shall be diverse from the first. And he shall subdue three, three kings. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And think to change times and laws. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. But the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominion shall serve and obey him. Hitherto is the end of the matter. As for me, Daniel, my, excuse me, guys, my throat, excuse me, bear with me. My cogitations much troubled me and my countenance changed in me, but I kept the matter in my heart. All right, you guys, thank you. <laughs> you guys, once again, excuse me if my throat is a little raspy. So, you guys, that was just Daniel um, chapter 7, verses 21 to 28. So, that's what we just read. Um, and, you guys, I'm giving you Daniel. The Lord is leading me to give you Daniel chapter 7, verses 21 to 28. Because he wants you guys to really go into that a little further and to examine that a little further. Because, basically, you know, it's talking about like what we talked about in the book of Revelations chapter 21. Kind of just picking up from that. But... You got to remember that Daniel came way before. So um, what I really want to pin, this is what the precious Holy Spirit is leading me to pinpoint right now in the book of Daniel chapter 7 verses 21 to 28. Let's mainly, mainly focus on verse 25. Because you guys, verse 25 is going to play a key part in this part in the series. So let's read it one more time. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out. And this is talking about the Antichrist, by the way. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time all right so let's go over this this is the main verse that the precious holy spirit has just commanded me to point out to you mainly this is verse 25 in the book of daniel chapter 7 so let's break it down and he shall speak great words against the most high now if you look on the screen right here you guys we're going to do some more process of elimination in this series so you got clinton up there once again you got bush jr and you got obama these are the three that we were talking about in the last series that are still alive. However, they have fallen like it, like we talked about in the last series in the book of Revelations chapter 21. These three were part of the five kings that have fallen, but they're still once you should so-called say physically alive. But, you know, you guys, you can't see my quotations, but you know how I am. <laughs> I'm doing my quotations right now. But um, these three right here. They are still so-called alive and they have fallen, meaning they once at one time, these three were presidents of the United States at one time, but they've fallen. So they are no longer in office. They are no longer in a seat of authority right now at this time because they've already had their seat in authority. 
So you guys, these are the three left. Because remember, it was also Reagan and Bush Jr. But they, it was Reagan and um, Bush Sr., excuse me, but they are deceased. So we had to cross them off and eliminate them because they are no longer amongst the living. So who do you have left? You have Clinton, you have Bush Jr., and you have Obama right in front of you. And we're going to do some more process of elimination. So let's look at verse 25 once again. This is the book of Daniel chapter 7. Let's mainly focus on verse 25 though. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. This is talking about the Antichrist who is already here, you guys, mind you, by the way. It's just he hasn't fully manifested with the spirit of Satan just yet. That will, when the Antichrist comes, you guys, that's nobody but Satan in the flesh. That's who you're going to be looking at. And let's do some more process of elimination. So you got Clinton, you got Bush Jr., and you got Obama in front of you. And let's talk about this in verse 25 in the book of Daniel chapter 7. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Meaning he's going to be very, very mouthy. He got a big mouth and he's proud of it. The Antichrist is. He's going to boldly speak things that have never been spoken before. And I'm not going to name the name, of course, just now. But out of all these three presidents, we know pretty much who did that with his big mouth. He shall speak great words against the Most High, against our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. He has a big mouth, This one of these presidents that you're looking at on the screen. And if you all know, of course, we know what president really had a big mouth. He was kind of very, he was very, very confident, very, very prideful, very arrogant. They all are. But this one in particular, he stood out the most. Let me keep reading you guys. So he shall speak great words against the most high, meaning blaspheming the most high with his mouth, making jokes about the most high, about our Yeshua HaMashiach, who is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. He will have a big mouth. He will always have a smart mouth when it comes to the most high. When it comes to our God, one of these presidents, as you know, he had a big mouth and he was very arrogant and smooth and confident with it at the same time. This is the deception, you guys. That's how he's going to deceive. And he already has deceived a whole millions. But let me keep reading. Let me keep going. And he shall wear out the saints of the most high. Who are the saints, you guys? That's us. That's us, especially as us being so-called targeted individual. No, really, you're the 144,000 elect, according to the Re book of Revelations, chapter 14, verse 1. You are the saints, not just the 144,000 alone, all of the righteous, period, all of us in the body of Christ. We are the saints. And he shall do what? Wear us out. And in particular, you guys, with this president and his presidency, even though he has fallen, he wore us out because now he is in the earth. The Antichrist is him. One of these three presidents that I just had showed you, either Clinton, Bush Jr. or Obama. He's going to wear us out and he already is trying to do it. With all of this so-called gang stalking, uh, really demonic harassment. That's what it means when it says he shall wear out the saints. Because one of these wicked ones that you're looking at on the screen, one of these evil presidents, they are very much behind the so-called gang stalking that you and I go through as a so-called targeted individual. No, really, you're 144,000 elect. One of these things on the screen is responsible for that. He's very much in on it because he's Satan in the flesh. He's Satan's son. But let me keep reading forward, you guys. Here we go. Here's the main part that the Lord wants me to show you. And think to change times and laws. What do you see in front of you? That is the LGBTQ flag, which is very blasphemous, by the way. And you guys, let me just point this out. I'm not on here to win people's likes. I'm not on here for views. You guys, I'm going to come with you and I'm coming to you with the word of Yeshua HaMashiach. This is not my word. It's all his word that I'm reading to you. So if you become offended, if you have a problem with it, you're not becoming offended at me. And I say that with a very humble heart. You need to take it up with the Most High God because this is his word, not mine. I'm not on here to not try to step on people's toes. Not at all. This is the truth of the only true living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And when he commands me as his child to speak it, I'm going to do so. So if you become offended, this has nothing to do. You're not coming offended at me because I didn't say it. 
I just back it up 100% because Yeshua HaMashiach commands me to. And I touch an agreement with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach at all times. So if you become offended, you're not becoming offended at me. But you guys, what do you see in front of you? You just saw the rainbow flag go off. And then this is the so-called White House colored with what? The rainbow. And of course, we all know where the rainbow comes from. This is, the rainbow was a sign that Yeshua HaMashiach gave to who? Noah. After the flood, after Yeshua HaMashiach had had enough of all them demons in the flesh back then, he wiped them all out with the flood and all human beings that became reprobates, just like them demons. Wiped all of them out with the flood, saving Noah and his eight family members. That was it. And Yeshua HaMashiach himself, Father God, Father Yahweh himself gave Noah this rainbow as a sign that he would never flood this earth again, this wicked earth here. He promised Noah, however, that he would never flood it and destroy the earth with water again. Go back in the book of Genesis chapter three. Go back in the book of Genesis and so forth. Read it all the way, you guys. And with this part in this segment, he just read in the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25, you guys, and he shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws. Now, this is why you're seeing all of this with the LGBTQ right now, because you guys go back to the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 27. What did the Lord create? He created who? Adam and Eve, male and female, period, point blank. Once again, if you become offended, oh, well, I'm not here. And I say that humbly, not because I don't love none of you. I do, but I love Yeshua HaMashiach all the more. And I'm going to tell you guys the truth. This is his word, not mine. If you are living this type of lifestyle, as you can see right here in front of you, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. The homosexual lifestyle is not coming into his kingdom. That filth, it cannot come into the kingdom of heaven, period. Once again, take it up with Yeshua if you're offended. I really do not care. You want to know why? Because I love your soul. I care about your soul way more. Your soul is way more important than some LGBTQ. Oh, please. Your soul is 20 million times more important to Yeshua. And as me being your sister, it's also important to me. And I'm going to tell his truth all day, every day. If you're living this lifestyle, you will not come into the kingdom of heaven. You will not. That filth cannot come to the kingdom. The new Jerusalem, no, it will not. And then you want me to show you because it's not my word. Here go the scriptures to back that up. Read them and get into your word because this is not me saying this. I'm coming in the power of Yeshua HaMashiach as one of his prophetess. So you have to take it up with him. But Yeshua HaMashiach will always have his way. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. Genesis chapter 2 verses 22 to 25. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9. Romans chapter 1 verses 26 to 28. Matthew chapter 19 verse 5. 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 10. Jude chapter 1 verse 7. And Leviticus chapter 18 verse 22. There you go. Pertaining to homosexuality. And that ain't even all the scriptures. That ain't even all of them. But there are some of the main ones, though, that Yeshua HaMashiach will not be mocked and he is not with this, you guys. And if you're living this type of lifestyle, I love you and I come before you as a real sister to you because I care for your soul. You must repent if you expect to get into the kingdom. You got to be washed clean by the precious Holy Spirit and his blood. You cannot enter into the kingdom with this. And this is why in this part uh, two. In this part two of this series called Abomination, don't let this get you in trouble. One of these presidents, he condoned this. And this thing is going to get you sunk to the lake of fire if you keep following it. He's going to get you sunk there with him real quick. Because the Lord created who in the beginning? Male and female, Adam and Eve, period, point blank. That's the only way that you can reproduce up in this earth, up in this lifetime. That's the way that Yeshua HaMashiach made it to be from the jump. Not male, male, not female, female. No, ma'am, no, sir. Because you didn't get here with a male and a male and a female and a female. You got here with a man and a woman being intimate together. That's how you came here. By the strength of Yeshua HaMashiach in them. That's the way you got here. And we're going to look at it for what it really is. We don't deal with illusions over here. 
and this so-called president of yours, not going to name his name just yet, but oh, come on. It's, I mean, I pray I'm not being too blatant right now. It's so obvious to see who did this. Back in 2015, during his presidency, he did this to the White House, blaspheming Yeshua. Like it, that's what I just read to you guys in the book of Daniel, chapter 7. This is what it's talking about in verse 25, mainly. Go back all the way in the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verses 21 to 28. But mainly we're pinpointing verse 25 because 25 is the main important part of this. What does it say once again in verse 25 in the book of Daniel, chapter 7, you guys? And he shall think to change times and laws, not in one time in U.S. history, so-called American history. Babylon is whore here. Not one time has a president ever did this besides this particular president, changing times and laws of the most high, telling a man and a man that they can be in matrimony together. And that ain't never going to be, you guys, telling a woman and a woman that they're in matrimony together, holy matrimony. That is an abomination before Yeshua HaMashiach. That will never be so. See, in this earth realm, they may think because according to so-called this whore right here, Babylon, they may think that they're married, but they're not. You're not married. I'm sorry. You're not. Sorry, not sorry. You're not married in the eyes of Yeshua HaMashiach. If you are a man and a man getting married and a woman and a woman, you're an abomination. You better repent. That's an abomination and that will not be tolerated by Yeshua HaMashiach. This is why this this is why Babylon, she will be destroyed. This whore, she got to go. And any of your so-called leaders that condone this type of behavior, they're going to get you sunk to the lake of fire with them real quick. These demons in the flesh, these fallen angels in the flesh. I come, Lord, I, I really do thank you, Yeshua, for speaking through me. You brothers and sisters, you got to wake up. Don't fall for this. Because you will not come to the new Jerusalem with this lifestyle. And I tell you this because I love you with all of my heart, mind, body, soul. I do. I don't want to see you perish. First and foremost, your creator, Yeshua HaMashiach, don't want to see you perish. To all of you human beings really made in the image of Christ Jesus. Because a lot of these, a great majority, um, great majority of these homosexuals, they're not even human either. These are these wicked, evil demon spirits that got washed away in the flood. And in the, they got destroyed in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, too. They're not human beings, you guys. This is these funky spirits pretending to be human beings like you and me. Made in the image of God, coming back to this generation, trying to pollute it all over again. So you got to remember, you guys, Yeshua sent the flood back in that day to wipe them all out for doing this wickedness. And also in the Sodom and Gomorrah in the days of Lot, when he, saying, when he rained down fire and brimstone on all of them. Those spirits don't go nowhere, you guys. They're trapped in this earth, this hell on earth, literally. All they do is just go into new bodies. That's it. They're not human. They come back over and over again, doing their wickedness over and over again in each generation. But it's up to the generation to wake up for Yeshua HaMashiach. The Lord will not be mocked, you guys. This is why judgment is coming to America. It's already here. Babylon, this whore, she has to go. She's done too much evil. And with this particular president, he passed this law, changing times and laws. Like it just said in the book of Daniel, chapter 25. This is what this is talking about. There was never, ever a president before him that ever did this. And they're all evil. Demo Democrat, Republican, it don't matter. They're all evil. They all belong to Satan, you guys. Don't fall for none of that nonsense. They're all wicked and they're going to that lake of fire at the end of the day. But this particular president with his big mouth, like it says once again in the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25, and he shall speak great words against the Most High with his big mouth, with his arrogant self, and shall wear out the saints. Isn't he trying to wear us out? The 144,000 you so-called targeted individuals with all this nonsense. He is very much responsible for it because he's Satan in the flesh, the Antichrist. One of these presidents that you just saw is either Clinton, Bush Jr. or Obama. And, you know, they're all of Satan. All of them are demonic. All of them are rotten, fallen angels in the flesh. But let's do some process of elimination. It can't be Bush because according so-called, you see my quote, you can't see my quotations, but guys, I'm doing it right now. Bush is a so-called Republican, so he's not for homosexuality. During his presidency, they claimed that he was not with homosexuality. So you can, we can eliminate him now, too. Bush Jr., you can take him out now. That would leave Clinton and Obama. One of them is your Antichrist. 
And one of them passed this law saying that it's okay for two men and two women to get married. What an abomination. Not according to the scriptures that I just gave you. Not according to Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13. Not according to 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9.